Hello, I'm Rachel Zenberry, Chair of the Arlington Redevelopment Board, also known as the ARB, and I will be taking you through Warrant Article 38, a zoning by law amendment for energy efficient homes on non-conforming lots for the 2021 annual town meeting. This article seeks to address an issue identified by the Net Zero Action Plan by establishing industry standards as thresholds and a reasonable process to address the limitations of the existing zoning bylaw for residential structures for non-conforming lots on the R0, R1, and R2 zoning districts. The amendment will only affect existing residential structures in these zoning districts. It does not enable the creation of new non-conforming lots. It does not enable new home construction where an existing principal structure does not already exist. The net zero action plan started as a commitment by the select board for the town to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. The Clean Energy Future Commission Committee is staffed by the Department of Planning and Community Development. Together with the department, they secured the services of the Metropolitan Area Planning Council to prepare a greenhouse gas inventory and develop the net zero action plan. The net zero plan identified buildings as a top contributor to community-wide emissions, particularly residential buildings. This zoning amendment was identified as a high priority measure and key to reducing building related emissions by 2050. The Clean Energy Future Committee noted that this zoning amendment makes Arlington property owners of non-conforming lots equally eligible as property owners of conforming lots for certain federal and state incentives and tax credits that are only available to those who build high efficiency homes. With our current zoning bylaw, the above ground portion of an existing single family, two family, or duplex dwelling can be rebuilt or replaced on lots in the R0, R1, and R2 zoning districts. However, homes on non-conforming lots, those that do not meet minimum lot size or frontage requirements, cannot replace the below ground portion of their homes. 28% of homes in the R0, R1, and R2 zoning districts are on non-conforming lots. Most of Arlington's residential inventory is older and not energy efficient. On this chart, higher means less efficient. A typical home in Arlington scores somewhere between 120 to 200 on this chart. Lower indicates more efficient. When applying the, the existing bylaw to these new homes, renovations or additions, homes on an existing foundation are three to five times less efficient, even if brand new windows, insulation and other energy efficient measures are applied. If we follow the recommendations of the Net Zero Action Plan, we can achieve lower home energy rating scores, which means lower greenhouse gas emissions. This zoning amendment would allow property owners who seek to reconstruct their home and foundation to the identified energy efficiency standards to reconstruct the foundation if the parcel has at least 5,000 square feet. If a property owner wants to include an addition of up to 750 square feet, the home and foundation also can be reconstructed. If the property owner wants to include an addition of over 750 square feet, the property owner will still need a special permit from the ZBA in accordance with section 5.4.2B6 on large additions. A special permit is also needed if the lot has less than 5,000 square feet and there is an existing structure. This amendment would not create new non-conforming lots or allow new home construction where an existing principal structure does not already exist. This amendment only applies to existing buildings with foundations in R0, R1, and R2 zoning districts. The ARB voted five to zero at our April 5th meeting to recommend favorable action on Article 38. Thank you.